Hey guys, welcome back to uh, a quick video update here for the Hunger Games server. I've got two people joined, joining me today. We've got CodeMac92, Ronald McDonald, and we also have <laughs> Kieran PH. Hello. Um, so <laughs> today we're just going to take a, a quick look at the progress on the Hunger Games. Uh, we're pretty much done with it now. It's uh, the plugins up and running and tested. Uh, seems to be working fine. We're still tweaking a few things, uh, but we're going to give you a, a quick demonstration of it today. Hopefully. Um, get you guys excited about uh, coming on here when we start. So guys, first thing I want you to do is just to type in slash sg space join. Right. And that will that will take you to our Hunger Games lobby. And um, right now as you can see there's a sign there saying do not touch the signs. That's because you know we're still testing, we don't want people jumping in and out of the games. But um, on this wall here you'll see a list of our arenas. Right now we only have one setup, which is the top one, um, and the sign next to it tells you uh, the status. It, right now it's waiting because there's no game in progress at the moment. Uh, it tells you the first number is the amount of players in the game, second number is the amount of dead players, and the last number is the total amount of, or the maximum amount of players. Um, so we're going to go ahead and join this and just show you a few features of it now. So guys, if you want to join uh, by right clicking on that sign there, Left and you'll clicking. see, <laughs> oh, left clicking, sorry. Um, you'll see there, as soon as people join, it actually puts their names on signs. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and join as well. Um, so you spawn on these platforms. There's 12 of them in this particular arena. And you can see down the bottom that it says that uh, there's three of 12 players on here right now. <laughs> in order for the game to start, you either need uh, your full 12 people and the, the, then the game starts automatically after about 20 seconds. Or if you don't have 12 people, um, you can all type in slash SG space vote. And if you guys go ahead and do that now. And providing at least 75% um, <laughs> of the team starts, uh, or votes, sorry, the game will start automatically. Um, so you, so you can see it's counting down there because we've got our votes through. Um, Fluffybot <laughs> is here, but he's not joined the game, so he's just he's just watching, which is fine. Um, so right at the beginning, you guys have got 20 seconds of grace. Uh, like I can't attack you right now, so um, you can either run away or you can loot these chests if there's anything in them. Now the items in these chests are completely random; they change every time you start a game. Um, some of them will be empty, some of them will have food. Some oh, oh look, I got booties. I got some leather booties. I got a chain helmet. Oh, and I got a chainmail thing. Okay, so I got a bit of armor. Which isn't too bad. So, uh, I mean, you know, we're not going to go over the, the rules of Hunger Game, but Rain is one of them. Check you out with your chainmail and your gold. <laughs> um, but some of the features, just to go over them, in this particular arena, you cannot break any blocks, and this goes for everybody, with the exception of leaf, leaves. Leaf blocks, yeah. You can break leaf blocks. Hey, come on. <laughs> no, wait, it's not letting me break, break any uh, leaves. No, it's not letting me either. Oh, that's my fault because your sponsors, I tested it with a rep earlier. Um, oh, that's, I mean, <laughs> it's supposed to be where you can break leaf blocks. It will be. Yeah, it will be. Oh. I'll, I'll fix that a bit later. Yeah, right. So you can't place but you can't, you, No, you can't place anything. You can't put down any blocks. Um, in fact, you can't place or break anything with the exceptional leaves. So, um, anything that does get broken, you know, there's, there's there's mobs on here, or at least there should be. Let's see if we can find some, actually. I only just enabled them. Yeah, I was about them, to say, so they've been off the whole build time, so... It is day, but we might get lucky because it's raining. So, oh, right now we're going to check the museum because there'll be some down there. Okay, uh, I I haven't really checked these buildings out, so you probably know your way around here better than I do. Hey, come on now. Uh, while we're uh, walking over here, uh, I'm not I sure. Think I did. Um. When the team, uh, when the, the num amount of players gets down to three, um, a random chest will spawn next or near to each player. And this chest can contain anything. It could have food, it could have items. Um, and in, in addition to that, um, the player also gets hit. Well, not hit, they don't get damaged by it, but 
uh, a bolt of lightning n lands near them every few seconds or ten seconds. I think it might like be. Like so, if they're hiding. Exactly. You know, if you get down to like three players and you're all hiding, the game could go on for ever. Yeah. Um, so the idea is that when you get down to those kind of small numbers, um, it lets other people know where you are so that you can go and hunt them down. Um, <laughs> the the other thing is as well is that like if you start off with 12 players, uh, there'll be mobs on here. You know, you've got creepers and spiders and you know the usual stuff. But as ev as a player dies, as each player dies, the mobs get more and more difficult. Um, so just their mob, their difficulty goes up. They do more damage. They take more hits. Whatever. Like spawn rate <laughs> or anything like that. Like. Um, not so much spawn rate. Just that you know their hit points yeah. and how much damage they do to you. Um, so there's no mobs here right now, but it's it, it's daytime. Yeah. So. Uh, each time you start a game, uh, it resets to daytime by default, and every day, Minecraft day that is. Um, the chests um, reshuffle and, and randomize again. Um, so, you know, like these spawn chests. If you if you're you know if you manage to survive the first day and night, it's worth coming back because there be, could be some new you know new equipment in here for you to take. But as with all the chests uh, in the arenas, you know they're kind of exposed, um, so you have to uh, expose yourself to to get them a little bit. Or you have to do some crazy, risk. yeah, exactly. Or you have to do some crazy parkour stuff, you know, over lava, and you've got to decide for yourself whether the uh, the risk is worth a reward. Better not hit me with that time. So. <laughs> uh, like I, w I probably wouldn't attempt a, a parkour thing to get a chest because I'm bad at it. Um, and you know, if you fall in lava, that's it. It's game over. Yeah, there's, there's um, a bit of. <laughs> Oh, keep them stop, so, stop. Um, <laughs> Dark Hound isn't in the game, no. is he? No. I tried it. Uh, well, let's let's it. go ahead and just kill kill each other. <laughs> um, I'm running. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm pretty low on health. I haven't got no swords or anything. Oh, oh I, can, I can supply. You can, yeah, here's some food. I mean, I, don't, I only have food, so... Don't kill me. Have you got two swords? Because I got it out of the chest. Oh, you got better armor than me as well. I have no one. Oh, I died. <laughs> Sadness. All of them do. Do you want guys want to go ahead and kill kill each other? Oh, it's alright. I think Fluffy's taking care of that. <laughs> okay, yeah, you just won. Uh, so as you can see there, I lost. There's two players remaining. Um, Kieran got a oh, double yeah. kill. Oh, and it just updated the signs too. Nice. Yep, it resets the sign. It resets the chests. Any leaves that you broke, it resets all of those. Okay. Um, another feature which we're probably going to introduce as well is we're going to have stats on the website. Um, so you'll be able to go onto our website and you can see how many times you've won. Kill death ratio, stuff like that. Yeah. Nice. KD ratio, definitely. Um, so we'll have that all that on the website as well. Um, so yeah, that's a, a sneak peek at <laughs> the Hunger Games uh, setup that we're using. Um, let us know what you think in the comments below. Do you guys want to add anything? Mm. Um, I just uh, I'm really excited for yeah. this uh, this map. It's going to be, be lots of fun, soon. and I think everyone will enjoy it. We're hoping for um, a weekend launch, but you know there's still a lot to do. Um, Kieran yeah. and Code Mac are some of the guys that have been helping to build it, by the way. So thank you very much to you. Uh, but we'll leave it there. Uh, we'll keep you updated and speak to you soon.